So one of the things that needs work on this machine is um, this back gear assembly. And what's wrong with it is that this shaft is just a plain steel shaft going into an iron gear and it was under lubricated and it's got some pretty deep scoring and both of them are worn. You can see here just on the shaft it's fairly loose and then when we get in there all the way it's it's a bit too loose for my standards. It's not that bad yet but what I'd like to do is to bore the inside of this shaft out on the lathe and then take braze the shaft and machine it back into shape. Okay, so now that we've got the shaft built up, we need to clean the bore out of here because it's uh, not straight and it's pretty rough. I'm going to freshen that up on the lathe and then we're going to uh, take the shaft and turn it to size to fit the bore. So I initially indicated it in on the small gear, which made the bore run pretty true, but I later decided that I'd rather have the large gear running straight over the small one, and I re-indicated it. So it took out a bit more than necessary. That looks good. It's taking a little bit much out. We finished the brazing. It's not beautiful. Looks best right about in here. Um, I just finally start to get kind of a rhythm in. We're gonna give that a go and uh, turn it down on the lathe. The silicon bronze turns really nicely. It produces a chip like steel, but cuts more like aluminum. shooting for 925 thousandths, 50 thou over what it started at. Alright, we're clean. A few little peck marks, I don't care. Cleaned up the shaft where I turned the excess off, and then I polished the bronze to fit. Alright, so there you can see, it's, uh, it's done. It's a really tight fit. There's absolutely zero wobble but it spins pretty good and free being that it's brazed on there the brass against iron should provide a good mating surface and uh, not wear nearly so fast so i'm happy with how it turned out and i hope to see a long long service life from it <laughs> certainly sliding on it Stop. Stop.
I brought the torch over. Come on. The flyer's ready. I, I put it on the wrong way. Oh man, it's stuck. He instantly seized it down. Did I get you one? No, maybe. Just off know. a little bit. I was definitely starting to get a little bit frustrated here. Line up for your. Yeah, that's pretty good. I think that'll do. I think that'll do. Oh, yeah. Yep. Beauty. Wow. <laughs> but in the end, victory would be mine. I hate that thing. You got anything more to Well, I got these back on. That was a bit of a bear because both this gear in here and this plate are um, press fits. I didn't measure them, but they're probably um, they're probably two or three thousandths press fit. And then for the method of locking the rotation, instead of using keys or set screws from the side, they use these um, set screws from the end. And the way they make these is after assembling it they'll drill it and then tap it in place so they're really not something that normally goes back together but i didn't want to have four sets of holes so i really wanted to get them back on where they went so as you saw to get that to make that happen um we heated those up um about 600 i think we had to get this plate on and then used uh use this little alignment punch to get it centered up and we had about three seconds before it freeze up on there so I was about ready to test out the back gear mechanism for the first time ever. I was pretty excited to see it all coming together. Out. In. Currently, these are decoupled, but you turn this pin, you turn the drive pulley, you engage back gear, then everything becomes locked. Now nothing can turn. You then pull this pin, now we're in back gear. It's right about five and a half, uh, five and three quarter to one. I tried out the guard to see how everything was looking, which in my opinion is looking pretty good. Here's a little sneak peek for next time. Well, we made good progress this week. Main shaft is in, gears are running. You can see it works just as free as can be. So up next, we have to put the feed box on, put the motor on, get it belted up. It's ready to roll. Thanks for watching. If you like this video, please consider subscribing or sharing it with your friends. Thanks.